Affinity Photo is a great graphics design software program, but it can be a little overwhelming. There's a ton of menus, there's a ton of windows that are open. So if I'm working away on something, let's say I'm working away here on the color of this design and I wanna change the color. So I'm gonna go in here and all of a sudden I'm changing it. Well, what happens if I close out the color box? Uh-oh, now where'd it go? And then I've got the layers panel. I close that out, oh no. Now where am I gonna get it? Well, there's no, there's no panel up here to bring back these windows, but there is. It's buried, it's under view, and then it's under studio. And then under studio, all of the different little boxes that you want are there. So I'm gonna click color, and just like that, my color box comes back up. So that's view, studio, and then I'll go down here to layers, and now my layers panel's popped up. So I would recommend going into studio and checking a bunch of these on, so you can see what you're missing, because if they're not checked, that means they're not visible. So for example, there's one here called metadata, and that here shows some camera information if you were taking photographs. And it's really helpful to know what you've got, especially if they're hidden. So I hope you found that helpful. Very quick walkthrough in Affinity Photo. Extremely annoying when you lose these little boxes. So instead of being terrified of closing the panel, just remember it's under view, studio, and then you can go through and flip them on and off as much as you would like. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills using Affinity Photo.